coming from an immigrant background, I've always had this just tremendous respect and appreciation for this country. Uh, that is the, the main reason why I joined, uh, just in, as, a, as a form of uh, a thank you for this country to, taking us in. At the age of four, Guillermo Tejada and his family migrated to Los Angeles from El Salvador. For Guillermo, keeping active, whether on his bike or playing soccer, was his passion. Growing up in LA itself, it's a challenge. The whole gang situation was just out of control out there. You know, thank God my dad moved us out when I was around 13, moved up to the valley which was, was, was a, it was a lot better. Possessing a confident and competitive attitude, Guillermo found himself in a bit of trouble in high school, culminating with his expulsion from North Hollywood High after getting into a fist fight. He got kicked out of school, ended up in my school, and I call it destiny. We're what they call high school sweethearts. <laughs> we had my daughter, my oldest daughter, when we were 17 and our senior year in high school. At the age of 18, Guillermo enlisted in the Marine Corps, fulfilling his dream of joining the military. Shortly after joining the Marine Corps, we got married. For 12 years, Guillermo served through several training and combat deployments around the world. But on November 11, 2010, during a foot patrol mission in Afghanistan, disaster struck. And as we were looking for landing zones, you know, I struck a, an IED, took both of my legs on impact. Upon the detonation of the IED, the enemy swarmed Guillermo's platoon, preventing any medevac from extracting him to safety. The platoon endured an hour and a half long firefight while trying to keep Guillermo alive and get him to a safe landing zone to be airlifted out. Well, they didn't think I was gonna make it just because it took so long for, for, for me to actually get to the hospital. Two Marines came to knock on a door. You just see the Marines in uniform and everything breaks apart. Besides losing both his legs, Guillermo suffered traumatic brain injury, affecting his memory. Trauma below the waist to his left arm and hand. It was a long journey to recovery from the initial trauma, but Guillermo finally landed at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas where he and his family decided to plant their roots. Once I found out that, that my memory issues weren't gonna get much better, I just, I had to make the, the hard call on, uh, on hanging up the uniform. Thank God I have a good wife, you know, right next to me that, you know, she, she stuck it out with me. When I got here, that's when I reconnected with my, my buddy, Travis Green, and he's like, hey, you know, Garrison's Foundation is uh, building me a home, you should look into it. And uh, yeah, he threw my name out there. They called me up and she's like, are you still interested? I'm like, yes, ma'am, I am. I was speechless. We had just found out that I was pregnant for the fourth time. And just to know that a house was gonna get designed to his needs, to our family size, was just amazing. I love cooking and uh, the kitchen is awesome. So I'm, I'm so grateful for, for, for everything. But whenever I can't do something or whenever, you know, I have a limitation because of, you know, my disabilities, or because I'm in a wheelchair, it takes you back to that day that it happened. So being able to, you know, cut that out, it just, you know, it, it helps you, you know, you know mentally, it, it helps you you know, live a better life, live, live a happier life. I'm so grateful. Today, Guillermo, Veronica, and their four children are eager to begin a new life in their new home. At the Gary Sinise Foundation, we serve our nation by honoring our defenders, first responders, their families, and those in need. To learn more about the Gary Sinise Foundation and how you can support other veterans like Guillermo Tejada, visit Gary Sinise Foundation dot org.